Hey, what's up? I'm Nizalea from ToleratedCinematics.com and today I will be showing you how I organize everything to get started on a project. You all know that feeling when you're starting on a project and you're like, I'll be done in a few hours and this project keeps going on and on and you have to fix things, you have to look back for things, but you didn't start organized and the project ends up to take a lot more time than you expected it to be. So today I'll be showing you how I prepare everything, how I organize everything, because it's extremely important that you get a fresh start each time you start on a new project. Let's see how I do it. Here we are on the PC and I'm going to be showing you how I get started on my projects each time using a structure right here in the folder because this is where it all starts. It doesn't start immediately in Premiere. You have to keep your files all together and everything that you use. So the first thing that I'll do is create a new project with a project's name. So YouTube tutorial video, for example. I will open that up and right in here I will create another folder called footage where I will add all my video files. Then I will create a folder music where I will put all the music that I will be using for this project. And then another folder where I will call this sound effects so I can add sound effects that I will be using for this project. We'll create another folder called assets and right in here I would put like logos and things that I need from another place that uh, just are going to help me create that video. Once I've done that, I will open up the footage folder and most of the time, if you're shooting multiple days, what I will end up doing here is create new folders in the uh, footage folder called day one, for example. Day two, depending on how many times you actually went out and shooting. So let's say you only uh, record it one day. Let's open up day one. And right in here, I will add new folders again, uh, where I will rename my folders to have the specific name of the cameras that I have been using for my projects. For example, the Panasonic. Uh, most of the time, I just um, end up giving it a name like the GH4 and the GH5, the GH4 footage. Uh, maybe you have a drone, so you have drone footage. And you can keep on doing this and right in here you will put all your video files. What you can do as well, but I don't really do that often, is uh, to right click right here and maybe set like 4K 25 FPS footage is right in here. If you have recorded slow motion you can do um, like full HD 120 FPS and, and structure it even more in there. And I know this is all taking a lot of time to get started, but it's going to help you in the long run. If you're going to work on bigger projects, it's going to help keeping everything structured. And if you need to find something, you can just open up that folder and you'll know where to look. So this is basically how I get started on each project. Then right here, most of the time I also have images that I take with my camera. I will uh, create another folder with like uh, images. And then I would like put right here the raw images and another folder with JPEG finals. And then I would put here my raws, I will edit them and then I would uh, export it to this folder right here. So um, for the footage, I will put everything in here. For the assets, let's say we add some logos in here or uh, things like that. And for the music, you would add music. If you're looking for music, you can always check out Levita's channel. He creates free beats that you can use on YouTube if you give him the credits. So a link will be put in the description, but it's pretty great. And then uh, the sound effects would be like a swoosh effect, a wind whoosh effect. Um, things like that that you would be using or if you're recording something like uh, you're typing on a keyboard and you need external sound effects I would put them in here of course you will have a folder with all your sound effects somewhere else on your computer but it just helps to copy it and paste it in the actual folder of your actual project to keep everything together and if you're ever going to send this uh, entire folder to someone he can just open up the project and continue working on it immediately because everything is so structured so once you have done your folder structuring you can open premiere and i'll create a new project right here browse to that file right here and i will create a new folder called premiere i'll open that up and select this map then i would rename it youtube video and i would often start with the year, the month, and the day. And the reason why I'm doing that is if you're ever going to look up for um, 
if you're going to see them underneath each other, it's most likely that it's going to be the same year and the same month and the days are going to change and it's going to be easier to, to just look at that last number. Also, if you're like using this as a first uh, part of your name, uh, it's also easier to just um, organize it on the name. So most of the time I actually add it on front and then YouTube video and there we go and click OK. OK, so we have our project and now if we're going back to that folder, you can see that it's going to be right in here. A lot of the times I also work with After Effects, so I would create another folder After Effects right here. Then I would go right here in Premiere and import all these folders. I would click on Assets, Footage, Music and Sound Effects and import the folders like so. Um, right now it doesn't work because there is nothing in there, but uh, you would see a structure right here like Assets, Footage, Sound Effects, the music we're actually going to put them out here you could also create a folder for audio if you have like speech dialogue um, that's also different from music and sound effects you have audio right here and yeah this is going to be my structure I'm going to put everything in an entire folder um, called main and I will also create a new sequence file right here which is going to be final and this is going to be my final edit where I will have my entire edit done. But most of the time, if you have like footage and in your footage, you would have like the GH5, GH4 footage and drone footage. What a lot of people do, and I will just import a few examples. Give me a second. Let's say we have one video file in each of these folders. What a lot of people would do is drag it into their timeline, keep the existing uh, settings, go to effects controls, click on your video footage and change the resolution here and then just start editing from here so they would zoom in like okay I don't like this part and this part so I'm going to delete these two and now I have my selection right here and then I'll drag in this make this a little bit shorter this a little bit shorter put it behind it and that's actually a really bad way of doing it uh, what you should be doing is actually open up your drone footage and of course this is no drone footage it's just an example I would go over here, take my selection and press I on the keyboard and press O right here where I have my selection and I'm sure like I want to use this part, maybe I want to trim it a little bit longer or shorter, you can still do that, but this is a really nice part. Uh, I would just select throughout all my video footage, like which shots can I use, is it a good shot, is it a bad shot, is it in focus or not, and everything that's actually um, an option for my edit, I would just select it and drag it into a new composition. And I will create a new sequence right here, which will be like drone selection. Then I would go over here, select everything that I like right over here, and also put it in a sequence GH4 selection. And what I end up doing is making a selection for each uh, camera that we shot it on, and then I would go in here and go through it, like I would have an entire timeline full of um, shots next to each other so it will look like something like this and then I would go here and scrub through it and see something that I like I would copy it go into final paste it and then right here I would start editing from these selections and this is just an easier way because you instantly have everything that already went through a first selection and then you would go into final and just make your entire edit right here all right, so that's basically it. Keep everything structured so you can create some awesome projects. And I hope you liked this video. If you did, give this video a like. Also, subscribe to the channel and check that little bell icon if you aren't already. Also, if you're a filmmaker or motion graphics artist, definitely check out our website. We have a bunch to offer. Links will be in the description. And then I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>